What's goody fam? You already know who it is. It's Shaka Shine and I'm coming back at it with another reaction on Shaka Shine Reacts. Today, we'll do it a little bit of up church and this is seeing what y'all's doing. <laughs> Didn't read that beforehand. I definitely should have. <laughs> Anyways, I just saw up church so we decided to do the reaction. Um, if you haven't seen one of my reactions of up church before, make sure you check out the, check out the playlist. We have a ton of up church reactions and without further ado, Let's get straight into it. Crazy squad, what you been doing, baby? <laughs> Bro. Okay, I just like the way that Upchurch holds himself. Like, he just seems like a genuine, trying to just have a good time person. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Shit, oh, don't look at you. Bro. <laughs> it's just water, or is it? But hell. <laughs> For real, though. Man, you to be on it. I felt them on that. Pretty much just wanted to stop in and see what y'all was doing. I looked on my YouTube the other day and I was like, damn, I ain't made a fucking video in like 13, 14 days. But from my last video to now, me and Rick. Oh, okay. How often does he usually do, um, do videos? I thought it was about once once a month at least but then i would say he has little that's musically and then he'll put up something like once a week probably um just random stuff like this if i'm missing out like i said i've been gone about seven months so let me know put it in the comments and let's keep it going then put a freaking whole like wood workshop on my <laughs> back porch over there went to Excuse home depot stomach, bought a bunch of fucking tools made two shelves threw a table by the wall Dumped all the tools out and started making shit. Here, I'll show you some of the stuff I've been messing with lately. So here's the Martin. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, done. I like that. Wait, did he do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of the stuff I've been messing with lately. So here's the Martin. Yeah, done. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Tobacco barn. Little dirt road, tree. I'm messing with that. Here for the sky. I love this one. This is my favorite one. Yeah, that was dope. I'm messing with that, hands down. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. And then I did this one. This one is a high vibe. It's one of them uh, guitars, if you're not familiar. Hold up. I want to know exactly how he's doing this R2. Is Like, what is he using? Paint pans? Um, just straight paint markers. Let me know if you guys know put it in the comments. You can like Change the EQ like what it sounds like but Obviously HP hollow boys Power of lightning trouble of rain My slogan Yeah, I like it. It has the woods like it has his logo not his logo, but you know what I'm saying has Everything that up church is about it seems like it's not everything but a lot of things Oh, yeah, the main thing. Four twenty. I saw that. And then four twenty. Let's go. Supposed to be like a little, <laughs> little backwards. Snaky, muddy river. This is really the picture of it is Palm Creek when it floods. To be honest, <laughs> on your way. <laughs> it's it's this when it floods. <laughs> Let's go. This, this road always floods first, but that's why it's called. No matter how bad or deep the flood, can't drown the creek, baby. So this, I don't mm -hmm. know what the... Creek squad type stuff, you know what I mean? Come on now. He just... has Upchurch has been himself ever since I've started seeing him. Um, and we went back to his old stuff, and not one time has it seemed like he was putting on a persona or anything like that. Now, some people might be, and they might be just better at it than others at uh, hiding it, but I don't think that's the case with Upchurch, so. It's gonna be, yeah, this is uh, the middle of a cedar stump that we pulled out the woods, because I only wanted to make something out of just only the center, the red part, because that's the most beautiful part. And hey, and actually, shout out to Ema, because she actually made me my logo, um, kind of like, well, you know what I'm saying? Okay, if I can get it straight, there we go. Dope, thank you, Ema, awesome. 
keep it right next to me at, at all times. It's sitting right here next to the um, next to all my stuff. So, thank you, appreciate it. And this is what I pulled out. I'm not sure what I want it to be yet. Maybe um, oh, maybe like a pencil holder. Okay, I still like that. That's dope too. Maybe some of the. I thought it was going to be actually like a chop and have some art on the middle of it like that, like I just showed you. But that's dope too. Humps can be like you know shaped. Wood. Wood is just nice. <laughs> we probably should stop cutting down so many trees, but come on now, the wood look is 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 it. I'm, I mess with all types of wood. <laughs> Pause. That sounded all bad. Faces. Something like that, uh, candle holder. It could be all kind of stuff, but yeah. You know, see how it's got like a red tint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of shiny though. So it is very shiny. That same exact stump, in the very bottom, there was a unturned stone in it from like the very beginning when the tree started growing. So all these roots formed really tightly around this rock. And I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. You know, it's like, that is its cool. own damn riddle. So we flip it over. We see the rock that's intertwined in the very middle and the very bottom. And I was like, man, I don't know about cutting this out. I wouldn't. I would probably just epoxy it and just kind of keep it like that. But again, that's without me seeing it yet. I would need to see it to assess it. But I don't think I would just straight cut it out. Because then you just have the rock. And be like, yeah, this was in some roots. And people are like, oh, okay. <laughs> Mike. But when you see it, it's different. In the very uh, bottom. And I was like, man, I don't know about cutting this out. And let's see if I can turn this up just a little bit. Might fucking, like, have a curse on you or something. Dude, you're turning a unturned stone. So anyway, <laughs> we proceeded to cut the rock out. So I'm cutting all around it. There's all kind of shit everywhere. So as I'm sitting here cutting on these roots of the tree, I'm not really looking at the shape of the roots and shit. I'm just trying to get the rock out without breaking it. So then this piece falls out, and I go to pick it up and throw it to the side like I did two or three other ones. And when I grabbed it, I was like, whoa, it kind of feels funny. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, dude, that's the shape of a hand. Check it out. It's the shape of a hand? Anybody that knows anything about woodwork, you're going to you're going to be able to see with this piece that I didn't do anything but barely sand it with some fucking 150 or 220 put some wood filler on the cracks and that's it hell the cut is still there the last cut that I made that made it fall out <laughs> see it <laughs> <laughs> the last cut that I made oh that's dope okay it's like this oh yeah i would definitely use that for something it does look like a hand i yeah I, I don't know. That's dope. I don't know if I would cut fingers into it. Let me know. Because you could make it even look more like a hand. But the fact that this is just how it is. Come on now. Legit handshake. <laughs> What's crazy is Let's if this go. was a handshake, it would obviously be the right hand. Now look at this. I didn't notice this till I was looking at it and sanding it. I was like, oh, hell, ain't no way. You see this hook shape? Yeah. Right above the thumb? I see that. Right there. Do you have it? Does he have some? Look. Come on. The same shape hook. Hey, that's that's pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. That, that's, I would definitely keep that. <laughs> I would definitely keep that. On the same exact hand. Yeah, that's dope. It's a little bit higher, but still. Come on now. The coincidences are pretty dope, to say the least. Ain't that fucking crazy? Yes, it is. It and is you know, crazy. I'm church. Let's and go. You know, some people might think, oh, that's crazy. Well, cool. Maybe it is, but I keep this thing in a box. I would, too. I would actually probably put it in a display case. But up church is up church, and of course he's going to keep it in a wood box. <laughs> wood rag. It's very thick. It's still nice though. Yeah. I still like it, and I like the box itself. I saw it sitting there. I do like the box itself. It has a little design. I think it's a star or a sun, something like that. I'm messing with it. So nobody can fuck with it, and break it, or drop it, because I don't know. I thought it was special. It should, yeah. I would consider it special. Hell. Do y'all, would y'all entertain me? Put it, put it in the comments.
The box even says the name of it, the ranch. Oh, that's what it was. It was uh, a leaf. It was a leaf. If you know what kind of leaf it is, you already know. And, and it says, do not touch. <laughs> and it's right beside me. And it ain't going nowhere. All right, I got two more things to show you. Let's see it. I'm here for it. Then I got to take my ass to bed. I'll sh I wonder what time it is. <laughs> it's probably like two in the morning type stuff. Do these first. Because so he seems to always be out in the middle. He seems to always just be out in the middle of the, um, <laughs> be up in the middle of the night. I started drawing these this, well, this morning really. I had some like extra blocks of wood. So I sanded these motherfuckers down and they're like, like real wood. Like real mm -hmm. wood. For real? For real. Yeah, not that whole break it up, put it back together type stuff. It's solid wood. I got you. I just started drawing like little characteristics of Ghost Ranch on them. This one's rip. Oh, that's dope. I like that. I like that. Especially if you get like a whole bunch set up. That's dope. And honestly, uh, if I was Ryan, I would definitely start doing that stuff. And maybe even like trying to make prints of it and put it with your album and stuff like that. Yeah, or just sell the originals if you want to. But uh, fans would love to have that. If you guys would like to have that, let me know. Put it in the comments. I would buy one personally. So, obviously, depending on the price. But, yeah, I would definitely want one if I could have one. I always see it riding down the tree. I, I respect art way, way more than probably people should. <laughs> I'm going to put some uh, epoxy over these mugs. Yeah. There's the other one. Ghost Ranch. They're good. He's, a, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Obviously, I've seen better artists, but like, if you guys have, I draw. I draw, I paint. Um, and if you don't do it, it's, it's, just try it. How about that? <laughs> just try it. If you don't do it, try it and see how hard actually painting and drawing is, especially painting. See, I'm going to fuck me then. Fuck you. And last thing I got to show you is my buddy J.J. Lawhorn. Hello. J.J. Lawhorn. I don't think I know who that is. If you guys know, put it in the comments. Teach me something. You already know. And last thing I got to show you is my buddy J.J. Lawhorn. Hello, singer, entertainer. He seen what I was doing on uh, Instagram where I was messing with like little wood pieces and shit. So being the friend that he is, what does he do? He brings me over a 200-pound slab of red oak. That's, that's not cheap. And you just bring it over just to, here you go. That's what's up. And was like, you better do something cool with it. And I was like, bro, I got you. <laughs> She's not all the way oh. done yet, but it made no screws. Hey, that's actually pretty dope still. Building stuff with your hands and like, you creating something and then using it, I swear, is such a satisfi uh, satisfying feeling. You know what I mean? Come on. And then rods on each side. They're just sitting in there right now, but you gotta... by tomorrow, they're going to be unmovable. Underneath is going to be stained and sealed, just like the top is. I know it looks <laughs> soaking wet, but it's not. No, it's just shiny. It's just shiny. I do like that too. Yeah, good on you, Upchurch. This is dope. I would have. I would like this table in my house. In my apartment. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we ain't. We ain't got making enough money to buy houses right now. Right now. <laughs> Let's go. Buying this at fucking Michaels. Actually, I do got one more thing to show you, so check this out. All right. So me and Ripta moved my grandfather, Chicken Willie, his uh, gun cabinet in here. Got it put... Wait, 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 what? Actually, I do got one more thing to show you, so check this out. So me and Ripta moved my grandfather, Chicken Willie, his uh, gun cabinet in here. Okay. Got it put back together and stuff. Had to, we had to take it apart and some other heavy. But as Ripta... Yeah, I bet you, because it's... Full actual wood. <laughs> Wood's heavy. He's helping me move this thing. Uh, you know, it was a, it was kind of a it was a frustrating day that day. It would. He be. comes in there. He's like, "Hey, come here. 
Look what I found in the bottom of your granddad's cabinet. Look at this. My grandfather loved playing pool. When he wanted to get away from the world, he went and played pool. I mean, I like playing pool. I haven't been playing it for the last few years because I've just been busy. Life's been crazy. But maybe that's, maybe I should be playing pool because life is crazy and busy. In the crack. In the very bottom of this gun cabinet was a broken piece of my grandfather's pool chalk. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, yeah. And again, especially for people that like you don't have anymore or like that's the dope things about grandparents is when you get to pretty much cherish the stuff that they had. Um, now, I feel like the further in the future we get, the less likely things like this will happen. But that's the, that's the only sad part. But it is what it is. You know anything about pool? This motherfucker has been used a lot. Yeah. There's a little, there's the finger indentions. And you. <laughs> and the sound effects are pretty on point. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces of my grandfather's chalk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of my grandfather's chalk yeah. and I'm going to epoxy it in a perfect circle. Oh. So it can't never be broke. Then I'll figure out what I want to do with it from there. But I just thought it was real special. But That's dope. I still like it. I, it is special. I'm messing with it. If you guys have anything like this happen to you, please let me know. Put it in the comments. I would love to hear the story. You know, this is what this piece of chalk was his downtime. Yeah. This is when he was getting away from all the stress of the world. And, you know, just him holding it all the time. And it actually being used. I don't know. Just feels special. special. And it reminds me. Special. Exactly. Of certain things about life that should matter to everybody, but really doesn't matter to hardly anybody anymore. Exactly. That's part of the whole like the further in the future we get, the less likely this kind of stuff is happening. It just kind of feels like that. We got to restore the value of things that matter. There's yes, we shit do. That don't matter in the fucking world. We do. See, I'm with you up church with you on that. But anyway, I'm tired. Yeah, so love you skins. Well, I am not tired. <laughs> this is a new day for me. I'm messing with this though. Uh, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. If I missed anything, you already know. Put that in the comments. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, all that stuff. It helps out the channel a lot. It costs you nothing and you can unsubscribe at any point. So uh, with that being said, you know I'll be back at it with another reaction tomorrow.